Hi everybody, so welcome to this walkthrough video and before we get started if you haven't listened to my recent podcast episode on why i preferred doing the systematic proposal more than overthinking the design of how i want to present in a discovery call to my prospect if you haven't listened to the podcast episode i highly suggest that you listen to it because i basically run down to the foundations and the main reasons and have walked through people as well on how you could better up the game level of your discovery call with your prospects so i'll be putting in the link down below feel free to listen to it i have included a lot of gems inside of it anyway now let's move in to this proposal all right so once you have an access to it for you to have an access just follow me on instagram and click one of the links in my bio and just look up for the proposal notion proposal template so once you click through that you will be led to one of my website pages and it will ask for your email so i will be sending via email the notion proposal template so let's hop onto this already so once you go over here make sure to change the cover and make sure to change this so usually i go around with making the making this one as my client's name usually the business name not really the name of the client but the business name all right so say for example if it's like grand video okay, as you can see here you change it to that so it's really up to you based on what's the name of your client and then here just change this photo you can change this via this click replace and include your message and then you could like feel free to like resize this on how you want it to be for this one make sure to change your greetings so usually i go with um greetings and all that so feel free to like customize it so this one this is where you're going to insert your welcome message so say for example hi i'm lucy i appreciate you showing interest in working with me and a little bit of you know exhibiting or expressing your excitement in working with them and then right here just put regards and then your name usually what i want to do here in this welcome message is i like to put the date of our discovery call so usually i go like this date something and then i tell them that we're doing the discovery call and all that yada yada so it's up to you on how you want to customize your welcome message for this but make sure that it's something that expresses your excitement on working with this clients all right it doesn't have to be customized for every client usually what i do the only part that i customize for them is this one the date of the discovery call so feel free to tweak it up on how you want it to be and usually for this part i include the part which is about me so you can also change it to like a little about me or things you need to know about me or who you'll be working with so you are free to change the headlines for this but this is just to guide you through on what you will be putting for this segment all right and then you put an introduction for this so say for example hi i'm lucy i have four years plus of experience in yada yada and at this part you have this click toggle to read more you are free to not delete this do not to delete this part so all you need to do for this about me part is a short introduction about yourself doesn't have to be very long but just a brief description to introduce yourself so make sure to include the people that you have worked with the success and all that and make it very brief you don't have to put like a long storyline of how you started you just want to give them an idea of who they will be working with and then after that i like to put my company values which is this so here in x it's important to us that our values are aligned before working together at x we believe that insert your beliefs our values include blah 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 okay so in you so you put here your value one value two value three so say for example you believe in like realistic realistic results something like that oh there you go you put it there so feel free to like change it on what are the things that you believe in it's important to give these people a, a brief idea about you and what you're doing right and i like putting some of the clients we have worked with so usually i just put 
an image including all of the logos of the clients I've worked with. You can also do that or you can also like make bullet points that hyperlinks to some of the testimonials that you have. So it's totally up to you, but this is just to show proof to these people, all right? And right here, you can see the client journey. So I put here, during our time working together, you will be taken to a client journey, yada yada. So these are the steps. Step one, discovery call and proposal. Step two, whatever your step two is for your business. Step three, four, five, six. It doesn't necessarily mean that it has to be all seven steps. You are free to like add up. So say for example, you want to add more part here. You just click turn into toggle list. Oh, that's wrong. Turn into toggle list. And then you say step eight, something like that. And then here, your text. All right. So that is basically how you do it. And then just feel free to like delete if say for example you're not covering all seven steps and all now we move on to the project proposal but before that let's go over here so this is step one okay so we've already talked about this in the podcast episode again if you haven't listened to it i highly suggest you listen to it so once you go over here right this is a toggle you have a discovery call notes and recording all right so what i like doing here once you click that, you will be led to a sub page in your Notion proposal. This is what I love about moving to a Notion proposal during Discovery Call more than presentation because I get to really be able to decipher and bring out value to my clients. All right. And that's what exactly you want to do for this prospects. So here, the purpose of this, yada, yada, access the discovery call recording here. Totally up to you if you want to give them a recording of the discovery call. For me, I want to give my prospects a copy of it just so like they could go get back to it and whatever. Now here, there is a discovery call guide. Um, if you have any custom questions or you have already a list of your questions that you like to ask and it's not here, feel free to add. So usually this is like, this is like an overview, like a brief overview of what my process is. So there's already like a dialogue or like a script on transitioning from asking for asking permission to this prospects to ask them discovery call guides questions. So here, I don't really consider this as proper discovery call questions, this part. So this is just basically to set the mood for the call this is to break the ice basically now straight to the business this is basically the talking now the actual conversation about your business so you can see here the business name offer um business description how long they've been in business uncovering pain where you're currently at in the business now we know the problems are what's your ideal goal right so here you're actually being given on what on how you will be able to guide your prospect to decipher or to make it out from this conversation that your services are what are the things that they need for their business all right and then after that there is an overall analysis so what's often missed out when you just prepare like a presentation or a you know a creative presentation to them is that what I realized over time is that it doesn't usually offer that kind of genuinity as comparison when you actually do this. So for me, I like providing value and analyzing during the discovery call. So this one, having this kind of setup during the discovery calls, it offers more of the value and the genuinity that you actually care for their business. So after this list of questions, make sure that you do an overall analysis and propose your services as the proposed steps. Very important to keep that in mind. And then you do like a process walkthrough. Okay, so these are the process, the proposed steps. How will our process be for this? All right. So even if they haven't said yes, from your conversation with them, you kind of somehow presume that your service is what they need. But at the same time, you're not acting as someone who is pushy because you're just proposing to them something that they could help, that could help their business. All right. 
So after that, what app is best option? And then overall analysis. I don't usually fill this part out whenever discovery call because it's like weird that somebody is talking and you're like typing like wait let me finish this is my analysis <laughs> it's kind of weird so usually what i do i i fill fill out this part like after the call in the next action steps um the usual action steps that you suggest to your prospects so say for example after this call all right if you find interest in you send me this yada yada blah 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 so make sure to put it here and all that all right now we go back here if you want to go back just click here and then you'll be able to see here the project proposal, project milestones and dates. So I like preparing this one during the discovery call because you want to be prepared, right? You want to appear as somebody who actually has a system to, for them to work with you. you. So you're not just, you know, just putting all creative outputs. You don't just have portfolio, but you have an actual system to work with them. So that is what you want to, for them to, come up with or like figure out while working or like talking to you during the call right so here feel free to change this one this basically talks about their client journey the milestone date and all um for me this is like my overview of my project milestones and dates and you are free to like change it as you please and here you just list down the packages that you propose to them all right now we go to this part which is the project invest investment so this is a table you can just change it so say for example in your proposal you offer like branding and then you offer like web design right and then after that you include okay what are the things that are included in this branding package you put it here all right so make sure you detail it out um it's easier if you already have like an idea like from your website the buy um usually from your website you already have like a list of what's included in the package so you can just copy and paste that and include it here all right anyways let's put it back there there you go and then make sure to include the price the amount and the total cost so for this we put that one and then you include the project duration right there so you can add more rows here by clicking this one right that one now let's go to the project investment breakdown so once you have that you total that out and you put it here now what we have here next one is the payment plan option so you want to be providing them with options so for me i usually work with my clients on a three month retainer plan so if it's something that you don't do feel free to like change this but for me this is something that i do hence these are the things that you know i put in here so usually what i do is that i offer like a project paid in full and then they get a discount or i offer like a three-month payment plan wherein they do like an initial investment and then the initial investment will just then be deducted throughout the three-month plan so it's totally up to you on how you want to design it now for the next steps usually what i do is that i insert like a link to the form so for them to like be able to go to that and fill out what are the plans that they want to do and all that yada yada and of course important before i forget whenever 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 moving to a next part like say for example before you move into the payment plan options always ask them first if this proposal is already okay with them so always ask permission before moving to the next part you ask them okay is this already okay for you do you want anything to be changed or do you want to customize anything or do you want to add anything so always ask permission from them just to also you know kind of get out from it that they are keeping in track with the conversation that you are having with your prospect all right now after that you go here as what we've said insert you insert the link to the form and then these are the faqs so i've included here the usual faqs that i do receive from my prospects and just you know um change the answers here i just put lorem ipsum because of course like our business is different when it comes to the answers to this so feel free to like remove say for example this is not applicable to your business or you want to add feel free to do so and then for here change this one with your email 
change this one with your actual Instagram link, actual Facebook link, actual website link. All right. So these are the things that you'll be changing. And of course, please change my image here. <laughs> right. Um, here also, when you're gonna propose this, delete this part because this one is the link to my walkthrough video. You don't want them to be looking, oh, who is this girl, all right? Anyways, here again, this is a quick run through of what you will be getting from this proposal. And then usually what I want to do after the call, I go over here. I, I of course, kind of fix the discovery call notes for this one because usually you, you know when you're talking in a call with someone you don't you know you don't complete your sentences or you don't complete your ideas from the notes that you take so after the call make sure to like polish it through and then after that once you have polished it through um just go back and what i like to do is that i export this proposal and send it to them as a follow-up email so this is what i like about this because you get to like export it to a pdf and send it to them that okay this is our proposal these are the things that we talk about during the call so i usually do that to my clients and that's a sort of reminder for them that we actually took notes and got value from the discovery call that we had together all right Now, for you to have an access to this walkthrough video, if you don't have any access yet, just go to my Instagram at alloversocials, DM me with the message Notion Proposal, or you can also go to the link of my bio and click get the Notion Proposal template. As an exchange, since I am giving this out for free, all I'm asking for you guys is shoot a story once you've had an access to this template already or tag me in your stories or DM me whenever you were able to close someone using this proposal. I'd very much appreciate hearing your own success while making use of this proposal that I have prepared for you guys. All right, anyways, if you haven't followed me yet on my Instagram, feel free to follow me at all over socials. And and if you want to be updated more about my latest offers, latest freebies for you guys, you can subscribe to our newsletter. Just go to my website and then fill out your email there. Again, I am Lucy and I am the founder of All Over Socials. I am a creative marketing specialist, a media buyer for success business owners. If by any chance that you want to level up your business game and you are tired of the DIY of doing the things for your business, I offer TikTok marketing and media buying services. I also offer Instagram marketing and Facebook media buying. I also do offer branding for brands and do some special projects with them. If you have anything that you want to work on for your business, feel free to book a discovery call with me, all right? I'll be seeing you.